Hey guys, so today we're going to talk a little bit about a more general Unreal topic, migration. So how do you actually uh, migrate another project into your project? So let's say you have created this super awesome game already with this nice mannequin and his nice head shooting, shooting things at other things. So you know, really awesome game. And now you decided, hey, this it would be really cool. There is this thing called Advanced VR Framework. And actually, it would be cool if I have this inside of my game. But how do I go about actually porting it? So in this case, it's you need to um, yeah think of some things first. And I want to point them out. Of course, it's the easiest if you just download it and start from playing with our project from the beginning. So this is the most easiest part, but of course that's not always the case. So today we are going to talk about this cases where you already have a project and you want to integrate the AVR framework into it. So let's jump right in and start from scratch. So of course, first of all, let's create a new project here. And I'm not going to create a huge project, just wanted to create a little test project. I can show you. So nothing special here. And you most likely have this already done. Also, while we're waiting, a lot of people has asked about my background. It's a nice software called Wallpaper Engine. You can get it on Steam for, I think, like $2 or something like this. So really cheap, really awesome. Love it. Okay, so let's quickly create a very simple level here. And one thing I wanted to point out, if you don't have any settings changed, if you don't have any input settings, if you don't use any plugins, you can just copy over our folder, so our config folder into your project and everything will instantly work. Otherwise, if you want to do it by hand, I'm going to show you next. If you want to replace a config folder, check out the last minute of this video to see what you actually need to do. So it's really easy in that case. Okay, the level is created now. I'm going to save everything and then just close the project down. So this is the project where we want to integrate the AVR framework into. And I have a fresh download of the AVR framework from the marketplace. So I'm also going to open up this folder. So this is a very fresh install. I'm just going to open up the content folder and inside of there is our AVR framework. Going to copy it into our new project and paste everything in. There should be no migration errors because the framework wasn't there at the beginning. So now we have everything in there, but there are some things we need to change first. So first of all, let's go to our project settings and we have covered this in our other tutorials like this level setup, but we need to actually set the game mode first. And after that, we need to set the game instance. And one thing that is very important is the input. So depending on if you're using input already in your level or not, most likely you are already using it. So you really need to think what you want to do. You can copy it by hand or you can use our config and uh, put yours in there. But the thing is, it's it's just a text file. So you can also combine both of them. Just make sure there are no overlapping values. In this case, I don't have any input, so I'm just going to copy over the file into my new config folder here. And now if I open up my new project again and open the settings, you can see all the input is in there. The next thing we will add is our collision channels. We are using two custom collision channels in the AVR framework and this is the part 
most people are missing. So it's a little bit hidden. So let's create a new collision channel. One of them is the teleportation. Make sure to spell it exactly the right name and also set the default response like I do here. So otherwise it will not work. And the other one is for our snapping system. We have a collision channel called anchor. So now we have both of them in place. And by the way, there's also a, a much easier option to do all of this and I'm going to show this in the end. But this is really the way you do it if you have a working project where you already have done a lot of things. So if I try to run the editor widget now, you can see there are missing things here like the images and I hit, if I hit it, nothing happens. The reason for this is, first of all, we need to activate some of the plugins. So let's go through all of them. First of all, we need the editor scripting utilities. Then we are using the Niagara particle effect. So I'm going to turn both of them on. And the web browser. And if you're not doing this, you will get a lot of errors at the begin play. So just make sure to do this. And after I have activated all the plugins, I can also use my scripts again here. And if I change something, you can see it's actually working in the level. So all the plugins are set up correctly here. While the shader is compiling, we're going to do a little test here. So I'm going to add a battery because it has the anchor and I can test the grabbing and snapping functionalities with it. Now if I hit play, you can see we have the right pawn. Right now the auto exposure is turned on, but everything else is already working. I can grab it, I can snap it. So all of this is working perfectly fine. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the experience folder. So we have structured the project in a way that all our example content is inside this experience folder. So there are a lot of very useful items. You can drag and drop them into your level and use them, but they are not necessarily required to run the framework. So you can basically remove all the experience folder. Everything else, the core stuff of the framework is inside of the other folders. So of course you can also use the Unreal Migrate function. In this case, you can select an object and Unreal will automatically migrate everything that is connected in any way to this object into your new project. But in this case, you don't have a lot of control. Of course, you can turn on and off uh, one, some of the items, but I think it's more reliable if you either do it by hand or you use something like the uh, source control to do it. So migrate everything over and then use your source control to actually check what you really wanted to be replaced and what not. So this is much more reliable in my experience, but of course it's really a matter of what you like to do. So let's talk about the other workflow. So the most easiest thing for you to do is just copy over the complete config folder. So just use our config folder, replace everything in your project folder. And in this case, you will have the input settings, you will have the collision channels, and you will have all the necessary plugins in the project settings turned on automatically for you. So this is the easiest thing to do. But of course, if you have changed a lot of config settings already or you have different input settings um, you want to keep, this will not be usable for you. But if you haven't done any changes in the settings and in the inf input settings, just do it this way and you can see everything is set up here. And if I hit play, everything is already working the way it should work. So thanks again for watching. I wish you
best of luck with all your migrations and if you have any questions join our discord bye